words and by choosing the tools you're going to be using. And you create incense, you art and oils and whatever you're using, candles, by choosing the energies that are present in all of these things and understanding the timings of things, what phase of the moon, what time of day, you are adding the energies of those things into a very powerful tool of focus that we use to influence the natural energies and to affect change. So that is basically how we view spells. And sometimes we will just, you know, worship the god and goddess. We will perform different rites, which we'll talk about later. And we have cakes and ale in order to ground from the energies. We've been dancing, we've been chanting, we've been meditating. And the food and the drink helps us stabilize ourselves, balance ourselves, and come back to being able to go back, take up the circle, and enter back into the mundane existence. And sabbats, or sabbats. Um, what we do is we not only follow the, the natural course of the, what we call the wheel of the year, which is as the seasons change and different weather and conditions affect the land around us. We follow that, but it also follows our story of the relationship between the goddess and the god. 